that's that's very useful. Uh, and then uh, today, of course, as you know, the theme that we chose uh, for the interaction was technology for good. So clearly, uh, that's an area. There's a lot of questions that we've received around uh, on that topic itself, and also on the role of leaders in that dimension. Uh, so maybe I'll start with some uh, uh, interesting ones. Uh, there's one which says. You have 24 hours in a day and infinite demands on your time. So as a corporate leader, how do you choose to allocate your time between customers, employees, shareholders, and community? Well, first of all, I'm, I must tell you that I'm very ruthless with my time. I'm very, very time efficient. Uh, uh, I, I, I believe that time is the one scarce resource in my life. So I'm very careful about what I take up, what I, I do believe uh, customers, of course, I never turn down. For me, meeting a customer is a way for me to check the check the usefulness of what we do, as well as every customer meeting I've had, I've learned something new from that. So customers is important. Employees is very important. Uh, I do uh, participate uh, in some investor calls, but that's largely done by the management team. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, BBA, I play a big role in uh, articulating the role of Infosys in, uh, uh, in society. Infosys is actually a leader in, for example, sustainability. It went carbon neutral in 2020, 30 years ahead of the Paris deadline. And now we have ESG goals for 2030, which are extremely uh, ambitious. So yes, that I do play a role in that. And I also do a lot of things outside of uh, Infosys because I'm a non-executive chair. So I, it doesn't really take up that much of my time. Uh, so I help again on um, new uh, projects in India, like the open uh, network for digital commerce, uh, the education stuff through XTEP. So I have a number of things, other things that I work on, which continue to be, though I'm uh, no longer in the government, uh, I do help in uh, these large scale population scale transformations. 